Okay, what we're looking at here is uh, coax cable, guy lines, a 40 foot uh, mast with a 2 meter home built antenna right here that was just removed to make way so we can start bringing down the damaged 55 foot tower. Have this tree right over here come down on top of uh, one of the guy lines. Actually, hit two guy lines, but the guy line was attached to this tree right there. This tree came down in a windstorm, took it out. So I just cut, I just used my chainsaw to cut that section out so I can get that guy line free. And so the antenna mast and tower, everything looks good, but what happened was from this angle, but what happened was the sucker bent over, collapsed the top, there's three sections, the top section collapsed down into the second section, blew out my 2x4 emergency stop, hit, went into the, the lower section, and just mangled it, and it's all bent and twisted up inside of there. So, uh, we're going to have to, we cleared as much stuff out of the way as we can, so I'll need to pull out that turnbuckle after we get it chained up. There's a couple guy wires still attached, or one guy wire still attached up on the roof. You need the boom truck here. It's going to be interesting. All right, heading up. Okay, here I'm up on the roof. See where this just uh, jammed. Top section collapsed into the second section, bit, twisted it, and jammed it up right in there. I don't know if any of this would be salvageable, you know, options for cutting, cutting it off where it's not bent and refabricating it and just having a shorter tower. I don't know. It's a nice telescoping tower, but we'll see. It's a good motor, good rotating motor. Hopefully that was not damaged when this came down. And the, uh, the, the antenna looks like it's in good shape. Yeah, it looks good. This is normally a 55 foot tower. <laughs> and it's uh, down to about 40 feet or so. 40 or 42 feet. Yeah!